Specialized 2022 LA Sprint Disc. Size 56, 19 pounds and a half pretty much. I'm not shaking, you're shaking. 19 and a half pounds of fully built size 56. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video and today I have for you guys this brand new 2022 Specialized LA Sprint Disc in a size 56. Retail on this thing is $3,000. Um, and as you guys just saw, the total weigh-in was around 19 and a half pounds. So that is fully built up as you guys see. Handlebar tape, tires, tubes, everything like that. As you guys see right now, that is 19 and a half pounds, which for a full aluminum bike with disc brakes and kind of just stock wheels on it, ain't bad. Whereas my specialized Tarmac SS7 Comp with pedals, one bottle cage, and a Garmin mount, that thing was um, about 19 and a half pounds as well. So you add some pedals to this thing, you add some cages to it, you're gonna probably be 20s and then obviously you can do some 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 upgrades to it but first and foremost 19 pounds for this bike is not bad second of all i heard a lot of people complain about the price of three thousand dollars now i am no uh, i don't like price increases as well you guys have heard me in the past complain about price increases through specialized through everything else as well for what this bike is for three thousand dollars in terms of everything now now during the pandemic when this bike when 2020's Specialized LA Sprint Disc was twenty uh, was two thousand two hundred dollars. That before it came with a Praxis crank on there, which now you get a true 105 crank, and that was two thousand two hundred dollars. Go now to today's future, which is now two thousand. Uh, it's it's two years in advance, and everything's gone up at least a, a crap ton of money. To only see about a seven dollar price hike for a bike where you get a internal cables, um, the 105 crank, and everything like that with today's day and age it's not that bad i know it's not what everyone's thinking but in my mind i was actually thinking of this bike being like 3500 bucks so three grand for a crit race bike or a bike that really won't hinder you if you buy it compared to the sl6 model if, if you want this thing has the same exact this thing has the same exact aerodynamic characteristics as the sl7 and you get the integrated cables the threaded bottom bracket you get a bike that's crit ready if you want it to be and it, like I said, all you do is slap some wheels in there and you got yourself a race ready bike or a bike that can that can really, really uh, perform at, at top level. So I think they did a really, really good job with the uh, price point and specs on this bike. Would I like to see have a little bit more flair instead of just a straight copy of SL7 to LA Sprint? Yes, I, I said this before in the video as well. I thought the LA Sprint, the previous models, they had their own characteristics with the Venge Vise seat posts, with the different forks, with the it looked, it wasn't a Venge, it wasn't a Tarmac, it looked different. It looked like two bikes welded together. Um, I would like to see a little bit more difference on there, but uh, that's just my take on it. Also, we are talking to the guys, because this is the exact geometry of the SL7, and the SL7 uses a seat wedge integration here, and now on the lace Sprint, they have the seat post that goes a little bit taller right here. Uh, if you had a, these two bikes side by side, 56 SL7 and a lace Sprint Disc, you would have less seat post showing, so it won't look as racy. So that's the only thing we're saying on that as well. But besides that, still a really, really cool looking bike. Uh, you have the, the smart welds here on the top tubes. You have the smart welds here on the down tubes as well. You have the smart welds on the down tubes, the top tubes, on the rear stays as well, the C tube, and all these smart welds are to reinforce these areas to ensure that there is minimal lateral flex when riding. So that way you get the stiffest bike possible laterally so that way all your power transfer that you put into this frame does not flex back and forth and when you push power it's going to go forward and give you the most speed possible so that's my that's my take on the whole bike take it for what you guys want uh this bike comes in black it also comes in in a green color as well and then they have a buttload of frame sets for 1700 bucks as well so without further ado let me get into this starting off at the top we have on here an aluminum specialized handlebar uh it comes with also just a regular aluminum specialized stem this can be swapped out and you can put a tarmac sl7 stem if you wanted to on here and you can run it where the cables are tucked underneath here because it is kind of the same integration. The mechanic over here at Races Edge did a really good job. I thought it looked really, really clean the way they did it. I've also seen where a gentleman sent me an email of what his mechanic looked like, where they had a Tarmac SL7 stem here, and they ran the two hydraulic hoses through here down, and then um, the cables just went straight down to here. So but it looks really, really good. And also, thank you guys again to Racer's Edge for letting me do this video. They have this 56, this is in stock, and they also have a frame set in stock as well. So if you guys are looking for this bike, you're in the area, 
feel free to contact me or contact them. I'll put their, their listing down below. With the bike, you do get these Supercast bar tape that goes all the way through. And then you get these Shimano 105 shifters on here. 11 gears in the rear, two in the front. They are hydraulic brakes and then mechanical shifting. No wireless shifting yet, maybe 105 yet, two in the future, who knows. Gloss black, specialized logo with a metallic finish on there. You have the DT Swiss R470 aluminum wheels with just a regular uh, spoke on here. They are a center lock wheel with just a regular base model Shimano rotor, 160 millimeter in the front, 140 in the rear. And then you have your Shimano 105 flat mount disc brake caliper. Again, you can see the, the weld marks right there on the bottom and then that brush chrome or that chrome kind of look for the Specialized. Also with the lace sprint new for this year, the previous model lace sprint was a OSBB. This is now a threaded bottom bracket. So you can see they have a stock uh, BSA Shimano 24 millimeter bottom bracket on there. So it is threaded now. Crank on here is going to be the 105 crank. It is a 5236 crank set on here with a 105 front derailleur. And then for the chain, it looks like they went with a KMC chain. Maybe just because they have lack of chains or for a price point. And then they did give you a 105. <laughs> I sound like, I sound like an excited kid. They give, they give you. They did give you a 105 cassette on here as well. Looks like an 1130 cassette they put on there. Shimano 105 rear derailleur with the cable. Ooh, that looks really flush. I like that kind of exit port right there. Exit port there. That looks like a, a biatch to route, but have a little exit port there. Um, rear stays mounted here, 56. And then you can see we have here the E5 D Alizio Smart Wheel, Zone California. The best of the best, the best in the world. You have your subtle Allay marking right there on the rear stays. And then you have your own seat binder right here for the um, Tarmac SL7 seat posts. You can see a bunch of Smart Wheels down here on the bottom. You have your chain sight smart welds, you have your seat post smart welds, everything like that. Again, like I mentioned, 105 flat mount disc brake caliper, and then you have your 140 millimeter rotor with your through axles here. So, to wrap it all up, this new 2022 Specialized LA disc frame set is identical geometry to the Tarmac SL7. There is no differences there. The seat post is the identical seat post to a Tarmac SL7 seat post as well. So if you have an SL7, the seat post will work. It comes with the stock seat posts that have the junction box in here. So you can run a junction box if you want to, DI2. You can make it flush if you run an ETAP. Same seat posts, wherever they're gonna be. And also the fork is the exact same fork as a Tarmac SL7 fork as well. Carbon fiber fork, aluminum frame, how their bikes usually run. They also have a power saddle. It is just basically a comp saddle. And it has, I wanna say just chromoly rails, but nice wide seat for blood flow as well. But yes, so they have this bike that retails for $3,000 in the black color. They have this bike that retails for $3,000 in a green color. They have their lace sprint frame sets that go for $1,700 in six different colors. And then also they have a limited edition $6,800 LA sprint build up with Revol Rapide CL wheels, SRAM Force 1x 12 speed access, and Revol Rapide handlebars. So if you're interested in buying a bike that is a crit race machine, this is what these bikes are known for. This is a really, really flagship bike, a really iconic bike that people know the LA Sprints for. Uh, you get a lot of performance out of little dollars for this bike. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.